Hello everyone and welcome to the second webinar of the IBM Digital Nation Africa webinar series. Today's webinar topic is getting started with IBM Cloud. My name is German Shane and I'm your presenter for today. I'm a content and application developer for the IBM Digital Nation program. I will see the development of new features and create courses for cloud, IoT and continuous learning paths on this platform. In my spare time, I like to explore the city and take pictures. IBM Digital Nation Africa allows you to achieve four goals. With this platform, you can learn. The platform offers a wide uh, range of courses and tools to help you learn about the latest technological trends and explore new opportunities in the real world. You can earn badges. IBM Digital Badges are verified proof of your achievements, recognized, respected, and valued in the IT industry, and can be included in your CV and shared on social media. You can also innovate to this platform. It gives you inspiration on how to build different solutions, provides the foundations of design thinking process, and you can build innovative solutions using the free IBM Cloud Light services. And finally, you can find jobs. This platform offers a job advisor tool powered by Watson Technology that helps in job matching relevant to your skills and to perform skill gap analysis and advises you on available courses on the platform that you can add to your learning journey. I will now demonstrate the platform on my web browser. You can see the landing page showing the goals I have just described. If you have not signed up for the platform already, please do so. There are three journeys in IBM Digital Nation platform. Explorer, Innovator, New Caller. We will focus on the Innovator today. Go to the Innovator journey. Once it loads, go to the Build tab. Innovator Journey. This is where you can find the course on which this webinar is based, Getting Started with IBM Cloud. There are other learning paths that may interest you. You can check them out or attend the upcoming webinars based on these learning paths. Right, let's get back to our presentation. Cloud computing, often referred to as simply the cloud, is the delivery of on-demand computing resources, everything from applications to data centers, over the internet on the pay-for-use basis. There are three major cloud types, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. They will be elaborated on in the next slide. There are also three major cloud deployment models, private, cloud infrastructure that is operated by one single organization, hosted on client site, public cloud infrastructure designated for public use, and hybrid, a combination of at least two cloud infrastructures, at least on private and at least on public. All three deployment models are utilized in IBM Cloud. To explain the different cloud computing types, I will utilize the famous pizza as a service example. Imagine you want to have a pizza. There are several ways you can get it. One, you can buy all the ingredients and cook uh, them at your kitchen. This is equivalent to not having a cloud. You provide all the hardware and software. Another way is that you can go to your friend's house, bring your ingredients and cook there. This is equivalent to infrastructure as a service. The hardware is provided, but all the software is still handled and maintained by you. You can go to a cooking class where the kitchen equipment and even pizza dough are provided already. All you need to do is select the ingredients and make a pizza. This is equivalent to platform as a service. The hardware is provided as well as middleware or computational platform. All you need to do is build your app on top of it. Finally, you can go to a restaurant, order the pizza and relax. This is equivalent to software as a service. Both hardware and ready-made software is made available to you. IBM Cloud is an open standards 
cloud platform for building, running, and managing applications. With IBM Cloud, developers can focus on building excellent user experiences. They have powerful tools at their disposal, such as DevOps tooling, and a powerful set of IBM and third-party APIs and services. IBM Cloud offers the following services. Cloud Foundry applications, container tools, Kubernetes cluster, IBM Watson services such as tone analyzer, speech to text, etc. And also AI, IoT, data science, and blockchain services. When registering on IBM Digital Nation Africa, you receive an IBM Cloud Light account, which gives you access to 256 megabytes of memory and over 45 apps and services. IBM Cloud Dashboard is the starting page of the IBM Cloud that contains an overview of all your applications, services, and user statistics. Once we go to the demonstration, I will explain several sections in detail. IBM Cloud Catalog contains a list of all applications and services available on IBM Cloud. You can choose and set them up from this page. As a Light Account user, you have access to more than 45 choices. The catalog is split in 14 categories. What we will be utilizing is a Cloud Foundry application, which is a platform as a service. For those of you who have attended the Design Thinking webinar, you may remember the concept of persona. Persona is a fictional character with specific pain, with specific pain points and goals they want to achieve. The persona of our webinar is Amaka. Amaka is a 19-year-old college uh, student in Nigeria. She studies computer engineering and recently discovered the IBM Digital Nation Africa platform during an IBM post event and wanted to try it out. Amaka wants to use cloud in her projects, in projects and is interested to find out more about IBM Cloud. Our demo consists of five, five high-level steps. Login into IBM Cloud, go into Cloud Foundry application list. Selecting Liberty for Java application runtime, naming it, and then finally deploying it. Once you go to IBM Cloud, you will be redirected to a login page similar to this one. As I'm already logged in, you will be actually be taken to the IBM Cloud dashboard. The most important sections of IBM Cloud dashboard are the following. The top bar resource summary and location status. Top bar has a navigation menu at the top left side of the screen. And it also has links that lead to a catalog documentation, and support center. The resource summary shows all your applications and services that you have deployed. And location status shows which regions are under maintenance so that you know in which regions to deploy your app. Click the navigation menu at the top uh, left side of the screen and select Cloud Foundry. The Cloud Foundry page allows you to deploy any of the 10 platforms, Java, Node.js, IBM X pages, Swift, Python, Ruby, .NET Framework, PHP, Go, and Tomcat. Select Java application runtime, known as Liberty for Java on IBM Cloud. All you need to provide for your app is an app name. 
All the other parameters will be selected automatically. Please note that you should give a unique name for your app. Host name, domain, and your location can be changed. It is best to select a region that is geographically closer to you. However, organization and space remain unchanged, unchanged in the IBM Cloud Light account. You can also select how much memory your app needs. You have a choice of 64, 128, and 256 megabytes. Therefore, you can deploy four Cloud Foundry applications on IBM Cloud Lite account. Since I have already used all of my memory, I cannot show this now. When you have selected all of this, you will see a deploy button here. Click it. You will be redirected to the application details page of your application. Wait until your app is awake or running and click visit app URL. The sample hello world application will open. You can push your own app as well. To do that, you will need to use IBM Cloud command line interface. You can learn how to do that in the introduction to IBM Cloud videos of getting started with IBM Cloud course. And this concludes my demo. Getting started with IBM Cloud is just a part of Cloud Journey on IBM Digital Nation Africa. The Explorer section has an introductory course on cloud that gives a high-level overview of the cloud technology and presents some of its use cases. The New Color section offers five skill-based courses in the Cloud Journey. Cloud Computing course gives an in-depth overview of cloud computing and IBM Cloud. Cloud Foundry course teaches you how to modify your Cloud Foundry applications. DevOps course teaches you, as the name suggests, DevOps, which stands for Development and Operations, a set of software development practices and tools that support application development, deployment, testing, and management for the cloud. Cloud Database course provides an overview of NoSQL and cloud and database. Finally, Docker Essentials course provides an overview of containers and teaches you how to containerize apps using Docker. Since this is a re-recorded re session of a webinar, I'm going to address some of the questions asked during the actual webinar. First question is, are IBM Cloud services similar to other platforms like Google Cloud or Microsoft Azure? Yes. There are overlaps, but each cloud platform has their own strengths and weaknesses, as well as focusing uh, on different goals. Second question, what are the uses of badges? Can they be used in CV? Absolutely, they can be. Badges are a certification of your master skills and can be included in your CV and shared on social media. The third and final question is, I deleted services that I had on Watson. Whenever I try creating a new service, I get an error internal server error, and I can't proceed. How do I go about it? In general, you need to wait for some time, about 15 minutes, for the memory to be completely freed. After this, you need to try again to deploy a unit service. Navigate to the, uh, to the first link shown on the screen to access the Getting Started with IBM Cloud course so that you can walk through the webinar demo material on IBM Digital Nation platform and catch up on the detailed steps, do the quiz associated with the course, and earn a badge. You can also access more courses on the different emerging technologies on IBM Digital Nation African platform and earn even more badges. There is also a startup with IBM program that, you that can put your business on the path to transformative growth disrupt your industry with IBM. And don't forget to join IBM Digital Nation Facebook group that is also seen on the slides. 
Thank you for listening to this webinar. You can contact me by my email shown on the slide. Our team is looking forward to seeing you again in future webinars. Thank you.